This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com with another news update. Mike Quackenbush, who has operated the Shakara promotion since 2012, is reportedly shutting down the company, according to PW Insider. Quackenbush had also worked as a trainer at the WWE Performance Center in the past. There's a lot of allegations coming out against him now with this speaking out movement, uh, alleging that he's racist and other sexual related allegations. I've never met him, don't know anything about him, other than I wasn't a fan of the promotion. What I saw of it, it was a very uh, comedy wrestling oriented orientated promotion from what I saw. And I'm not a fan of that. In uh, WWE news, apparently with the recent COVID-19 positive test results of some talent and at least one wrestler, friends and family of WWE employees will not be invited to the Performance Center for the WWE tapings taking place there next week. In MMA news, number 11 ranked UFC welterweight contender, Jeff Neal unfortunately has been forced to return to his second job as a server at Texas Steakhouse, according to a post he made. Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to get uh, a fight despite being 5-0 and in the UFC, and he needs to make a living. So sorry to hear that. And I've been following, of course, reporting on UFC a lot lately, which, by the way, Daniel Cormier snapped off a little bit at, at MMA reporter Ariel Hawani yesterday in an interview when am I going to get a job as an MMA reporter? They, I think they need to start having actual men work as, as MMA reporters. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue working on that because I think I could do a way better job than Ariel Hawani, especially as far as full, in-depth career interviews go. But anyways, my point of this is I've been researching MMA, and some UFC fighters only make like $11,500 a fight. And they have to give like a high percentage of that to their trainers and so forth. Uh, you don't make a lot of money in the UFC unless you're a big star. And last thing I'll uh, close on as Yanni McQueen says, Ariel is a total bozo. This is the, the Hannibal TV sweaters and, and t-shirts you can get. If you visit our Teespring store, our link is, is right on these videos or you can go to thehannibaltv.com to find the link to our t-shirt stores. But I'm looking for someone to design us some new t-shirt designs. If anyone designs me a design I like, I will personally send them a shirt and post pictures on our social media of that person wearing the shirts. So we're not going to have these the Hannibal TV ones up much longer. So get them. We've had a lot of people buy them over the years, but uh, I'm looking for people. You can email us at greatnorthwrestling at gmail.com if you want to see if you can design us some new shirts and sweaters. Alberto Del Taco says somebody should make a Drew McDonald shirt. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this Drew McDonald. We see the the rise consistently getting in the 0 0.5, sometimes 0.4s. And I believe this is a direct Alberto Del Taco quote. Drew McDonald is the lowest drawing WWE champion of all time, both in ratings and attendance. So we'll leave it at that to Drew McDonald, who likes to remind everybody in every single interview he does, whether it's CBS, Sports Illustrated, UK media, that wrestlers are all friends. If they hurt each other, they, see, they say they're sorry. And the WWE locker room 
is like a big, happy family. So isn't that just wonderful? Maharaja, am I going to review AEW tonight? No. I have zero interest in watching AEW. Uh, I'll sometimes watch Twitter clips of it at the Hannibal TV on Twitter when I'm flipping through that. But I have not been impressed um, of anything I've seen in AEW. And there's some funny comments on here. Someone says, stop being insensitive. Uh, I think I'm fairly, I think I'm a fairly tolerant person, actually. Uh, I might be mean when I fight, but I don't get into fights unless someone attacks me. Uh, so I would say, despite being in a lot of fights, I worked security for about 20 years, both in bars, arenas, construction sites, malls, you name the type of security. I've done it. I've even done personal security for people. So I've been in situations where I've been attacked a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm not the type that goes around picking fights, but I will defend myself if someone tries to attack me. Smitty Smith says, I can't keep up with the, all the allegations. Neither can I. It's hard to keep up with all. I think I heard on the Wrestling Observer Radio today, there's been somewhere between 30 and 40 allegations. Uh, I don't, to my knowledge, so far, there's been absolutely zero actual charges made. And as I've stated before, I highly suggest as someone, as I just mentioned, worked in security, if something serious happens to you, what's way better than just shaming the person on social media, if you believe you have an actual case, go to the police and deal with it through the proper channels, file a lawsuit against them. And if someone's making false allegations, file a lawsuit against them. That's what the legal system is there for. Um, but it's to, it's uh, interesting. I'm, I'm happy that a lot of these people are being called out, like this Joey Ryan. He was a cancer to the wrestling business. A lot of these guys are the, are the small wrestlers. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Um, and we have way too many small wrestlers in wrestling. So I say good riddance to a lot of these guys. Double S says, any chance of Lady Yasmin coming back to the business? She has a lot of potential. I think the biggest mistake she ever made, I helped her get two tryouts last year. Uh, she didn't get signed from them. She was about 22 last year. I think she's 23 now. And she was so disappointed that she quit. She's got several match videos in the millions on this channel uh, she's very popular. I know she has a lot of like hardcore fans out there. In my opinion, I don't know who who advises her to make these decisions, but as a woman wrestler, it's you don't see a lot of older women wrestlers. Most of the women wrestlers now you're seeing more in their 30s. At one point in time, it was rare to see female wrestler in, in their 30s. Sometimes you're seeing them in their 40s now. I think uh, Lufisto, who is the great North Wrestling Women's Champion of Canada now, is in her 30s, and she's a phenomenal wrestler. But you don't want to quit wrestling as a young person and come back to it later because it is a young person's sport. Your chances are better of making it as a young person. Some people will make it as an older person, but it's rare. The AJ Styleses of the world are the exception. And by the way, somebody wanted to argue with me yesterday, and I will bring this up. I said Harry, the British Bulldog Smith, is the best technical wrestler in the world today. And this person was saying AJ Styles is. Harry Smith is trained with Billy Robinson, Josh Barnett. Uh, he's a great catch wrestler. He's actually a catch wrestling instructor he's changed uh trained with top amateur wrestlers when i wrestled aj styles he tried to shoot take me down in a double leg i've already done videos on this i can tell you he doesn't know how to shoot a proper double leg so as far as aj styles technical ability 
I put him in the category as CM Punk. It's all fake. It's an illusion. Do I think AJ is a bad wrestler? As far as a pro wrestler, anyone such as like we saw in the Undertaker documentary this week, anyone that's still an active wrestler in a major company and is breaking kayfabe as obviously as AJ is, I don't put them in the category of a good wrestler because I think a good wrestler should respect the business more that if you're an active wrestler in a major company, you should actually try and keep a little bit of the mystique. So you never saw Bruiser Brody or Stan Hansen talking about liking to tell stories or any of that bullshit. You never saw the original Sheik doing that. Um, so does he, does he have the ability to make people look good? Yes. AJ Styles does have that ability. Is he going to be the next Hulk Hogan? No. SmackDown, he was in a feature match last week. It got a 0 0.5 rating. Uh, 2019, WWE had more events canceled than in the history of their company, according to Dave Meltzer. So as far as a draw, I'd argue he's not a good draw either. So have a great night, everybody. I'm going to uh, pump some iron. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Hannibal TV and subscribe to the Great North Wrestling Podcast. The link is in the description. Follow us.